frequencies which goes to your pineal. And the photons that come on those angles of light carry messages. And it happens when you close your eyes. Your pineal is stimulated when you close your eyes. Now, the powers that be don't want you to use it, and thus we've all heard of calcification. You can decalcify your pineal gland. So the Vatican know of this knowledge. They truly know of it. They cannot not know of it. And the pine cone sits on the staff of the Pope also. I've mentioned this before. What is this pineal gland that everyone's talking about? And what happens when you trigger it or activate it in meditation, as people always ask? Well, the pineal gland is a very interesting organ in your body, or gland as it is. And it's actually filled with fluid and surrounded around there are very similar structures to that of the retina of the eye. Now, something which is very, very interesting about the pineal is that it's connected to the same sensory uh, visual part of your brain as what your two eyes are. Now, inside this fluid, they say there are small crystals. And of course, the pineal gland is light reactive. But it is stimulated by darkness. Science has shown us that in darkness, the pineal is stimulated. This is why we dream at nighttime when the eyes are closed. Your pineal is the thing that conjures these dreams into you or brings you into the dream reality, as it were. Now, with this little gland in your head, and it is, as I say, filled with fluid, which has small, tiny crystals within it, it is ultimately your connection to higher dimensions of reality. It is your connection to the spiritual plane. It is, as it was said, the seat of your soul. Now, the pineal gland, being that connection, is something that should be nurtured and looked after. And as I say, every religion, every scripture, every messiah, every spiritual teacher, pretty much has leaned towards this, if not directly, then in a mystic sense. We can look to the ancient Middle Eastern uh, religions, such as things within Egypt and the symbology of Samaria, and you see several constant references to the pine cone. The largest statue of a pine cone on planet Earth at present is situated in Vatican City. So the Vatican know of this knowledge. They truly know of it. They cannot not know of it. And the pine cone sits on the staff of the Pope also. I've mentioned this before. So. What exactly is this pineal of yours? As I say, it's a connection to the higher dimensions, and it should be nurtured, cared for, and looked after. Now, I see inside there, there is fluid and there are crystals. Now, melatonin is created within the pineal, and they say DMT is a precursor from this. Just as with Moses had to reach the land, the promised land flowing with milk and honey, milk, serotonin, honey, DMT, and amber substance, serotonin, uh, milky white substance. Thus, in meditation, you reach the same promised land, the land flowing from your pituitary and pineal of milk and honey. Now, DMT, the problem you have is we can't actually autopsy a human being fast enough because of DMT's chemical state to prove that DMT is being created within there. But we know melatonin is, and they are nearly, nearly 100% confident in many science fields that DMT is produced in there. For all, you can't provide physical evidence because you can't physically autopsy someone fast enough to prove it. But they say small amounts of DMT secreted whilst using certain substances, such as ayahuasca, which is where you get this God experience that shamans embark uh, those following them and themselves upon to hear answers from that other dimension from the spiritual plane from your connection to the intuitive psychic self the part of you the intelligent part of you that allows your hair to grow your heart to beat the pineal and dmt is a very interesting substance because it is recorded that when dmt crystallizes if you try to break it with something you get a flash of a singular color very very interesting chemical and very very interesting material so imagine you've got a tray with dried dmt and you hit it with a hammer or something a, a, a rock or something like this and you get because of the crystals smashing you get a flash of a singular light 
if you just equate that the fact around the pineal gland you have this material that is said to be nearly identical to the retina of the human eye it's connected to the visual cortex of the human brain and when you strike dmt which is very close to melatonin and we presume comes from the pineal because it's very clear when people have these experiences what is happening that that pineal filled with little crystals and fluid within it which stimulates itself in darkness when you close your eyes and those who sat in the dark saw a great light as it is written in christianity that this on a quantum level on a a nano quantum level biological level is a projector if you want to look at it that way it's a spiritual projector that has the ability to conjure all colors we see this from the fact that crystallized dmt when struck poof, sparks into a single color so inside your pineal you have the ability to have projections of full colors that connect to the visual part of your brain and this is where your dreaming states are coming from people say what happens when you activate the pineal well ask yourself every night you dream you'll use your pineal it's part of your anatomy it's not something to be feared as is commonly touted within many different faiths on the planet well not many predominantly in the west uh, the uh, persons following islam and christianity they fear it they've been taught to fear it because it's where they self-empower god is not so ridiculous and not so childish as to put a portal to a dem demonic world inside of you and if you were then he's not a very nice god is he of course that's not what it is but you believing it is because the vatican don't want you to know for all they have a massive statue of a pine cone so it's very important to them is important to them because then you still require them for your salvation and you cannot become fully empowered face it the largest religions on the planet are now corporate they are corporations driven by money wealth power and the material wealth i'm not saying all persons who follow it are like that but we have to admit that's how it is otherwise the vatican would end world hunger instead of sitting on dormant stagnant wealth this is not as jesus christ would have wanted so this gland is of massive importance to you and to i and to everybody because it allows you to connect to spirit and the powers that be they want to suppress it now everyone's heard of calcifying your pineal gland and when you activate your pineal it's not some big wondrous thing i became superhuman this is nonsense people touting that just switch off from them what you need to do is realize that basically you'll suddenly begin to tune into yourself as a more intuitive and psychic being and you'll also connect to the higher dimensions where light beings can dwell that are not as dense as the physical beings we are and can pass the correct information to you if you don't want to see them as beings of consciousness just see it as a new field of information the same field of information that makes your hair grow in your heartbeat now we are consciousness we are in the ever-present field of self we reach up to self in meditation and we, we feel that self that fills all life consciousness is ultimately light and as we see things like the sun changing and governing everything that's going on around us of course it has an influence on yourself on the light on the consciousness and this is why we're starting to see a shift in people waking up and looking for knowledge because as again it is written in christianity when will you know christ has come look for the man with the pitcher of water and when you do go into your house and go into the upper room men didn't carry pitchers of water back then but aquarius does and this is the age of aquarius it's a time of change for all consciousness because it's a time of change for light you can see it in the behavior of the sun even with physical signs and that light comes to your eyes which goes to your pineal and the photons that come on those angles of light carry messages just as angels were messengers of light photons travel on an angle of light to get to you they go into your pineal you can hear what you're supposed to do my message was go to tanzania four years later we have 600 children liberated most of which liberated from child labor 30 children living here with special needs who were struggling desperately outside animal rescue shelter center for street involved children countless people helped with medical care thanks to you guys who shared all because i stimulated my pineal in meditation i cleaned my body i made it alkaline i cleansed it and i listened to that higher realm of information which is where god dwells and he asked me to come here via my pineal and a synchronicity created whilst i was indulging in the reality that your pineal allows you to when you connect to the seat of your soul to hear god must have 
an antenna via your pineal to this higher realm, this different light. And it happens when you close your eyes. Your pineal is stimulated when you close your eyes. This is where... Hey, you ever seen a wealthy person or a wealthy family or a jet owner? Like, I got a jet, I'm sorry, you know? You ever done that, seen that? Where meditation comes into that. Now, the powers that be don't want you to use it, and thus we've all heard of calcification. You can decalcify your pineal gland. It's been calcified predominantly by fluoride. Fluoride added to your water supposedly just to stop those getting cavities. It's strange how it calcifies the most important possible gland for us to have any form of spirituality. And here we are at a time where many people think they're just bags of skin without any spirit, soul, or connection to a higher being. Because their pineal is calcified and they can't feel it. It's atrophied by that which has been put into our water and poisoned through processed foods, processed waters using fluoride, and also the media which we take in, such as television, which ultimately shuts it down all it wants to, because you surrender to a false light instead of to the natural light, which is where the photons can come to you. If you stare at a false light all the time, you're not going to get those photons. The pineal gland is a very important thing. Christianity spoke about it, Hindu faith speaks about it, Buddhism speaks about it, all faiths across the planet spoke about it. All ancient religions have the pine cone symbology. You must eat right. You must go into the dark to see the great light. And you must understand that this tool in the center of your brain is where you will find out how you can live your highest good. Do as was told by great teachers such as Jesus Christ. And let thy eye be single so your whole body will fill with light. And then you will meet God face to face as Jacob. Place they call pineal and once you're face to face you can directly ask where am i supposed to go how do i help to lift this up out of the darkness that the planet is currently seemingly in and god can respond to you because you're on the right frequency and you're connecting 